Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Pisces. This is going to be for your uh, first half of your December from the 1st to the 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect. Apply this to your own unique situations. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. So I'm going to go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. So let's get started here for Pisces, over energies for Pisces. What is surrounding Pisces? What does Pisces need to know for the first half of their December from the 1st to 15th? We have victory and success here, Pisces. Triumphant. And rest and rejuvenation. Okay. So victory and success. Triumphant. And rest and rejuvenation. Seems like you guys are overcoming some sort of obstacles here. And, you know, with victory and success here, some of you guys could be really, you're in this energy of really being seen here because I feel like you guys have done some really hard work here and that you guys could breathe a sigh of release, a relief here. You guys could rest here. You guys could go on vacation or something like that. But there's a sense of really overcoming something here um, that was really difficult here when it comes to work. Some of you guys could have been dealing with a lot of stress and anxiety that you guys could be overcoming here or, or traumas that you guys could be overcoming here, okay? So, you know, some of you guys could be, let's say if you guys are dealing with traumas here that's lodged in your root chakra here, some of you guys are trying to heal from this, okay? Um, you know, I feel like some of you guys could be feeling like a sigh of release or relief here where I feel like you guys are starting to feel better here as you go through this purge, as you go, th go through this healing process here, Pisces. What else do we have for, for, for Pisces? Overall energies for Pisces. What's around the Pisces here? Okay, so we have the lovers, Gemini energy, okay? We have the six of pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, okay. We also have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Two of Swords, okay. Okay, so. It does seem like you guys are finding some sort of balance and alignment here with the nine of wands here, you know, so I do feel like you have dealt with some sort of trauma here where I feel like you have worked together with other people here that supported on your healing journey here. Okay. It does seem like you have learned a lot from your experience here and you do feel like powerful changes are happening here for you guys. Uh, things are really balancing out. Things are moving forward here. It could, it could be an indication that your karma is balancing out here, okay? So with the Six of Swords here and the Wheel of Fortune, it could also be an indication that if you if there's been some sort of stagnancy in your finances here, in your work here, your luck and your fortune could be changing at this time here or that your hard work is paying off and, you know, there could be some sort of increase in money that's coming in for you guys here, Pisces, okay? The Nine of Wands, The Page of Wands, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy. The uh, Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups and the Two of Swords and the Fool, Aries energy here. Some of you guys are definitely getting noticed here, you know? Some of you guys are being noticed for this energy shift that you're going through, all right? 
this is interesting. Some of you guys could be in the public eye here, but you know, one of the things I'm getting here is that if you guys have been in the public eye here too, I feel like you guys are walking away from the public eye for a while here. Okay, and moving towards new experiences here, Pisces, with the Fool card. What else do we have? Outcome and advice. What else does Pisces need to know? Look out for, work on, for December, first half of their December from the 1st to 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. Like I said, this could be in any replacements here. The Death card, the Five of Swords, Seven of Cups, the... Queen of Wands, the Five of Cups here, and also the Six of Wands, okay? So the Death card. Five of Swords. Seven of Cups. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Eel, Sag. Five of Cups, and also we have the Six of Wands, okay? Outcome and advice. What else do you guys need to know? Look out for work on. It, it does seem like there's a powerful transformation that's happening here. Yeah, you guys are overcoming some sort of major obstacles here where you guys are going into an uh, energy of sort of healing, you know, balance here, stability here, okay? If there's been any sort of confusion here, I feel like things are becoming more and more clear for you guys, okay? The death card and the nine of cups. Wow. There is a major, major, major energy shift here for you guys. And I feel like with the High Priestess here, you could feel the shift coming. You could feel the shift coming here, Pisces, and you feel like it's here or that it's coming, okay? So the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, the Seven of Cups, and the Two of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and also the Emperor here, Aries Energy. <sighs> seems like you know there is someone in around you here that could have made a wrong decision here that could be disappointed or has disappointed you or that this person's dealing with some sort of regret here but yeah uh, you know one of the things as i feel like this energy shift that's coming here it's going to kind of weed out things that you don't even need anymore here too such as you know a, a relationship friendships family could be things here uh the five of cups what else do we have here for pisces and the five of pentacles okay the six of wands the six of wands here and also we have the ace of wands okay So Pisces, it seems like you guys are definitely moving towards a new beginning here and that you guys are definitely changing directions in your life here. Yeah, I just feel like there's a huge shift that's coming here and you just know it here. We have two aces here. So uh, powerful changes, new beginnings happening here. You know, with the devil card here and the two of pentacles here, you guys could be working on you know, finding balance here and releasing any sort of toxic energies that's no longer serving a purpose in your life here. So I feel like you guys are definitely moving towards your happiness here, okay? Or that you guys are focusing on your happiness. Like I said, there's a huge shift in your energies here and I feel like you guys just know that it's coming or that you know it's on the way. All right, so Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. All right. And uh, yeah, and I'll speak to you guys in another reading. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.